Hey everyone and welcome back to Neo. On this video we're gonna be setting up a spear build. It's the only weapon we haven't tried and it's time to fix that. So first thing I want to do is reset everything with my book of reincarnation. Let's go ahead and use that. And there we go. Bunch of Amrita, bunch of skill points, lots of stuff to spend. Alright, so we should probably begin with the gear, I think. So, um, what I want to do first is go to my starting point, to my storehouse, and we're going to pull out the spear, because I'm going to be using that. That's a sword. Where's my spear? The Ninjin Mukatsu. This is what I'm going to be using. So, send that to my inventory. And then all of the divine gear I have in here, we'll just send that over. And we'll send that over too. We're not going to use this stuff, so we'll just break that down. And this stuff I can't actually break, so that just has to stay there. And same with the weapons too. If it's not divine, I don't want it. So we'll just send this stuff over and we'll break it. Oh god, no. Oh well. Send some of the divines over on accident. Okay, so all that stuff is sent over. So, um, yeah, let's start with gear. So, obviously, the spear is going right there. And then, offhand, I don't really know. Um, might just put another spear in there, or might pick a different weapon to switch to just in case I need something else. Um, but we have a spear here, let's just throw that there for now. Okay, and then we've got the rifle. Probably gonna stick with that and the bow. That's good. What is this? Let's see. Damage reduction, toughness, received firearms damage, and Rita earned. I like that. Well, not ideal, but it is divine and it's got Amrita earned. So let's go ahead and use that. Oh, I like the look too. That's cool. Alright, and then what do we got here? Some more light armor. Damage reduction. Defense from behind. I don't think that'll come in too handy, but it might. Received firearms damage. Gold earned, and it's inheritable. That's really nice. Unlimited Omnio chance. Damage reduction when I run out of key, and it's part of the head of the Iga Ninja fam. Or, head of the Iga Ninja set. And that's damage reduction. A bunch of other stuff I don't really care about, but. Probably my best option, since it's divine, it's got a lot of defense, more so than my uh, heavy armor has, which is interesting. So, and it's got more gold earned, and I'm gonna need gold, so let's go ahead and put that on too. Okay, we got scout armor, ooh, attack. Unlimited ammo, damage reduction, the other stuff kinda sucks. But I like the attack. And the defense is once again higher than my heavy armor. So, let's go for it. Okay, uh, we've got these Tower of London guard trousers. Not overly impressed with these either, but you can see how good these divine items are. They have almost as much defense as the heavy do. And I'm not planning to really take much damage in my spear build, so I don't think I'm gonna miss the toughness too much. So let's go ahead and do it. This is turning into a very interesting look just on its own. Okay, and then we'll keep the plate mail boots. Okay, so uh, actually pretty straightforward item selection here, or stat allocation, because I'm not gonna need a whole lot. I'm gonna need 13 skill body we're gonna be pumping points into, so 13 skill. I think that's it. Everything else is taken care of. Okay, um, not a whole lot of toughness, 90, so I'm gonna have to be very evasive, although I might change that. Once I get some heavier divine pieces, I might switch those in. Uh, I, I have been looking at this Japan's Bravest set um, as something I might want to take. 
It's got skill damage on Tornado, which I'm going to be using with my spear. Close combat damage at four piece. It could be good. So uh, that's a set I want to be looking out for. So I'm going to send that Armor of the Exceptional back to my storehouse. And see if I want to pull that out later. So let's go ahead and send all the extra stuff back to the storehouse. So all the extra weapons, the hand cannon, the axe, or the hammer rather. And actually that's it I think. Alright, now I want to keep my armor of the exceptional. So keep that. And the rest can go. I don't need any of the other stuff. Okay, um, so next up I suppose we should do stats. Let's go to the shrine. I'm gonna level up. Uh, body, we'll do that last. Heart, we'll just get that to 10. Stamina. Ooh, we're gonna be in the agility A ranking. I've never had that before. It's finally, finally going to happen. I can see how that works out. Because I believe it's 30% or lower, and I'm gonna be 26.7. Uh, strength, 10. Skill, I needed 13. Dexterity, we'll pop that up to 10. Magic, uh, I want about 20 of that. And then Spirit, uh, let's put it up for to 10 for right now because I need to check something. So let's start with this and we'll go from there. Okay, and what I needed to check was my Guardian Spirit. So the Guardian Spirit I want to take as my primary is Kato. And that only takes 10 Spirit, which is why I put that in there. And then what I want to do for my secondary Guardian Spirit is take Seershu. But this is the part that I'm confused on. So if we select, or if we look at Seershu, you can see that she has uh, Amrita Earned as a... I don't even know what to call it. They had a word for it, but I, I'm, I'm going to call it Inheritable um, Effect as a secondary Guardian Spirit. So... Uh, that's marked as the Amrita Urn. Now, I'm not sure if I'd actually get that without getting the 20 Spirit. I think I need the 20 Spirit. So let's put that in. And you can see it's not showing as active. I think I need the 20 Spirit. So if we go... Whoops. Um, so if we look here... Um, at the bottom there, when you combine your Guardian Spirits, your primary and your secondary, you're going to get an effect. So if we go back to secondary, you can see at the bottom right there, it says skill damage plus 1.6%. I'm getting that because I'm paired with the Kato. But if I change Seishu to something else, you'll see it changes. So if I was to take Tenjin Kujaku as my secondary, I'd get key recovery speed instead. Uh, Atlas Bear would give me quick attack damage. There's lots of different combinations. But I'm going to take Seishu because skill damage and Amrita earned is going to be really good. Although, like I said, I think I need the 20 spirit for that Amrita, so let's go ahead and bump up spirit to 20. And then let's see if that makes a difference. And... Wait, why isn't it showing now? Oh, okay. Yeah, see? So now it shows it um, as being earned, I think. And that's at plus 6.2%. So I believe if I'm interpreting this right, I'm going to get 6.2% more Amrita, but only because I got 20 spirit. If I didn't have that, I would only get the skill damage. So instead, I'm getting both. So that is a good setup. I like that. More Amrita, skill damage, perfect. Uh, all right, so then let me look at my equipment, make sure everything is active, and it's not because I'm still missing body. I haven't put those points in. So let's go ahead and do that. So the rest of my points, let's go into body. Whoops. All that into body, you can see I'm going to have a lot of life. A whole lot of life. 3,207 to be exact. And I'm not even done because I'm going to get some passives that give me some more life as well. So yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So yep, let's go ahead and confirm that. All right, so what next? Let's go with skills. 
So, the spear skills, there's a lot more of them. And you gotta think more about how you wanna set things up because it's not as clear cut as some other weapons where there's basically only like a couple options that will uh, overwrite each other. But with the spear, there's quite a few. So let's just start at the top. Uh, I actually don't want grapple, I don't think. Because I think I'm gonna get the merciless barrage, but I need to get grapple to get these other two. So let's get that. Uh, we're gonna take pole kick, but I don't actually want to use this. I can show you what it is. It's uh, mid low stance only, follows up a combo with a kick that uses your spear for support. Not gonna be using that, I don't think, but I've gotta buy it because I want this passive. When your health drops to 30% or lower, close combat damage increases by 4%. So let's get all three ranks of that. Okay, and then we've got the Purify Yokai Realm. We want Flux 1 and 2. Uh, spear Shove. Shoves an opponent using the Spear Shaft, stunning them. Don't remember if I want that one or not. Let's wait on that. And Chidori. I don't think I want this. Follows up a combo with a blow that launches the opponent up with the butt of the spear. If the attack depletes an enemy's key, it will lift them and hurl them back. Press triangle to perform a follow-up attack. So it's actually really cool looking, but... It seems like it's more for show than anything else, so I think I'm gonna skip on that. Uh, Celestial Spear. While living weapon is active, hold triangle to perform a powerful slam attack. Now this looks awesome. So I'm gonna take that. Tornado spins the spear around to unleash a shockwave. That's pressing triangle at the end of a combo. This one looks like it has a lot of a lot of potential. It does. Uh, it appears to do a lot of attacks, and it's a fairly quick animation. So I think this is what I'm gonna try to build around. So uh, yes, I want to overwrite. Rising Dragon. After getting knocked down, press triangle to attack while getting back up. That's awesome. I definitely want that. Okay, and then we have Merciless Barrage. This seems like it could be really good, like a enhanced grapple. Launches an opponent who is out of key into the air and follows up with a series of powerful blows. So that right there. And I've seen it used against me. So uh, I want to try it. And that's going to replace grapple. Uh, key pulse heaven, of course we want that. Piercing Rain. High stance only. Follows up a combo with a flurry of powerful blows. Fiercely thrusting at the enemy five times. And it looks cool. I don't think I'm going to use it. However, I am going to get it. Because I want another passive. So we're going to say no to the overwrite. And then we're going to get first rule of thrusting. That increases damage of thrust attacks by 6%. We're going to get all three ranks of that for a total of 12%. Uh, definitely want Living Water Heaven. Spearfall. High stance only. Follows up a combo with a horizontal slash, then slams the spear down on the enemy. Um, don't think I want that. We're gonna pass on that one. Uh, spear stance change. High stance only. Changing stance right when performing. A key pulse knocks the enemy back. Now, I don't think I actually want this, because... Knocking the enemy back doesn't actually seem useful to me, so I'm going to skip on that for now. Maybe I'll change my mind and pick it up a little bit later. Uh, next we have Windmill, high stance only, extends the spear as long as possible for a huge swing. And I think this is the one I want. I think it's worth a shot. And I think it, yeah, competes with Spear Shove. And Spear Shove seems cool and all, but I don't know if it's worth it. So we'll try Windmill out, see if it's any good. And then we have Windmill 2, pressing and holding the button cause, uh, causes you to continue to spin. So you're just going to spin for longer. So could be really good or could be absolute trash, I'm not really sure. But we're going to try it. 
Okay, we got Key Pulse Man, of course. Body Swap. This one seems interesting. Mid Stance only swaps places with the enemy in front of you to get behind them. And that's pressing square while you're guarding. And then we have Water Wheel. Mid Stance only follows up a combo with a vertical spear strike that smashes down on the opponent. And I think I'm going to pass on that one as well. Uh, Living Water Man, yes. Twirl, um, this is a parry. It uh, parries an enemy attack and knocks them down. It seems interesting, however, it's going to compete with another attack I really want. And Twirl has a Twirl 2 that increases your attack power if you perform it. So, really, really tempting. However, I think Entangle is going to be far superior. And that's mid stance only, sweeps an enemy's legs to knock them down. So, uh, Kusadigama had a similar attack and it was crazy good. So, I don't really want to pass that up. I think it's going to be super effective. So, we'll take that. Key Pulse Earth, yes. Uh, backslash, low stance only, slashes the enemy while stepping back. I can't remember if we had a competing ability. If we don't, I'll take it. No, I don't think we do, so let's go ahead and take it. And then we have Spear Bash. Low stance only, uses the butt of the spear to quickly throw the opponent off balance. And that's square at the end of your uh, combo. And may as well try it. There's no competing ability. Uh, Living Water Earth, of course. And then we have Flying Monkey. I don't know if this is going to be useful, but it looks so cool. Low stance only, leaps over an enemy to get behind them. And that's um, left stick up and X at the end of a combo. I love it. It looks super cool. And then it's got Flying Monkey 2. After Flying Monkey, let you stab downward with an additional square button press. And that just makes it an even uh, more interesting combo. So we're going to get that. And I think that's everything. If that's everything I wanted from the spear. And if any of these end up not performing as well as I would have hoped, I can always try some of these others I didn't buy. But I think it's good. So let's get some passives. We're going to get the key from the sword. And then we're going to get health from axe. Which is at the top, I think. Uh, right there. So get some extra health. Uh, no. And then I wanted Kusadi Gamma too, I think. Let me see. Was there any others I wanted an axe? No. I do want the uh, extra damage of final blows, though, so we'll take that. And then I think there was also another one I wanted on Kusadigama. Yeah, increased damage dealt to enemies from behind. So let's get this as well. We'll get all three of that. And that's not going to leave me with a ton of points. Uh, not many at all, actually. Um, I guess I'll get one point in melee mas mastery and increase melee weapon attack by two. So let's do that. And we'll leave the rest of the points for when I get my um, Mystic Art. Which is going to be a little while, so I'll definitely have enough skill points by then. So that's good for Spear Abilities. Let's move on to Ninja. So we definitely want my Mystic Art Enlightenment to make my Ninjutsu Instant. Confirm that. And then, let's see, what else do we want? We want... Hmm. Well, I definitely want the dodging. So we'll get all three ranks of that. And we definitely want quick change. So we'll get that. So all three ranks of dodging. And then sneak attack. Probably want that. 
Uh, I definitely want more elixirs. So max that out. Uh, power pill, of course. Want those. And then... Uh, we'll increase my ninjutsu capacity by four. And I think that'll allow me to take four power pills, which will be a good idea. So let's do that. And then... I guess we'll get... Uh... Reduced key consumed by a dash by 6% and running speed. And I think that running speed might actually be movement speed. And if it is, it's way better than it appears. And I think that's actually the case. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need tiger running. Then we can get dashing one. Cloud runner one. And we can actually get one more rank of each. Alright, and that's going to use up all of my ninja skills. Let's go ahead and make sure that uh, ended up being okay. So ready jutsu, we want quick change and both power pills. And it looks like I was able to do it, perfect. And those are already set up, so that's good. Okay, uh, so on to Onmyo magic. We want awakening to instant cast Omnio magic on myself and increase the uh, cast speed uh, of the abilities I use on the enemy. And then, of course, we want Sloth. So we'll take that. And what else? Lots of options. Uh, you know what I think I want to take? Lightning Talismans. Let's take one of those. So that'll be good. Uh, we want Pure Mind 1, 2, and 3, and the extension on purifications. Uh, Kakai has been pretty good. I think I want to take those again. The key recovery speed is really, really nice. Uh, Rejuvenation, I don't think that's going to do me any good. Because uh, it's not like the axe build where I'm going to be taking damage on purpose. Ideally, I shouldn't be taking damage. And if I do, Rejuvenation is not going to recover the massive amount that I'm going to take. So we're going to skip on that. Same with Steel. I don't think that's going to help me. Uh, Carnage is still tempting, but I'm going to pass on it. Uh, I do want to get more Emrita Urn, though. So let's get over there. We'll get two ranks for now and see where my points stand after I get the rest of the stuff. Uh, I do want more luck. Get divine item drops. We'll put that to rank two as well while we figure this out. Uh, increased gold could be good as well, but we I don't think we can swing that. Uh, let's see. Don't really care about the extended living weapon time. I'm not using living weapon nearly as much as I used to. So I think we will get the last little bit of Amrita gain. And then we'll get the last bit of luck as well. And that leaves me with seven points. And I might get just extra gold. Might be worth it. Well, actually, let's see. Um, let's get everything readied and see if I have enough Jitsu. Because we can increase that if I need to. So let's get the Lightning Talisman. And that can replace... Um, I guess we could just put it right here. Can replace whatever was there before, I don't remember. And then, Sloth, we definitely want that again. Might want Devigorate. Actually, let's put Devigorate on the first bar. Because I think that makes sense. Right next to Sloth. And then, Lightning Talisman. Can get put on the back bar. Okay, and then... Oh, Kakai. Well, we're ready that. It's already got a spot. So that's good. And then that extra spot, I'll just put the... 
uh, spirit stones in there again. So that'd be good. So let's go to equipment. Shortcut and my large spirit stones. Or actually, it wasn't large, was it? Maybe it was. No, spirit stones. There we go. So those can go there. And I think that'll be good. Kakai lightning, quick change, divigorate, power pill, and sloth. Yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. Okay, so we're good there, and then I've got extra points. So we can spend those really quick. Um, guess we'll get gold. Why not? And then two extra points. Anything worthwhile? Could get carnage just to try it. Although carnage and power pills don't stack. So that kind of sucks. Or you know what we could do? We could get a uh, lightning shot. That might be good. Oh, you know what I should... Well, never mind. I was going to say I could get poison off of ninjutsu, but my dexterity is low, so that's not going to help me. Hmm. Screw it. We'll get lightning shot. Why not? And then we got one more point. We'll just save that. Don't know if I'll use lightning shot, but it's an option. It can sit there. Okay, so let me make sure my spear skills look all good. Merciless barrage, sneak attack, tornado, windmill. Uh, don't know what that is, but we don't need it. That might be flash attack, maybe? Tornado, entangle, body swap, tornado, spear bash, flying monkey. Oh, we don't have anything for that. I think there are options. Let's see, let's go back. To spear, let's see. Thought there was something. Oh, oh no, that's mid stance. Well, what, what's my option? Oh, windmill is, oh no. Oh right, mid -mill's, windmill is high stance only. So we can get spear shove. All right, well, let's try it out. And it's three points, sure. And no, we don't want to overwrite because we like what we have on the other one. So let's check that now and make sure that's all good. Yes, okay. So that looks good to me. Okay, so what else are we missing here? Stats are done, guardian spirit's done, skill points have been spent, equipment, all good to go. That is an interesting look, I don't actually mind it. I think I'll just keep it like that. The legs and the chest clash a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, so I think the only thing left is to pick a clan. So let's go ahead and go online. To the hidden tea house. We're gonna transfer and I think I'm just gonna go with luck. I think luck is the best thing for me. Get more of those divine items to drop. So if, because I want luck, Furuta is the way to go. So let's do that. All right, so we're all set up. Let's look at the final stats. And look at my life, if I could actually find it. Ah, there it is. 3,407 life. I'm pretty sure that's vastly higher than what I had before. Uh, my equipment rate is super... Super low, 26.5%, and I've got agility of A, so we're going to get to try that out. See how good it is. My toughness is garbage, so if I get hit, it's going to hurt, or hurt my key. And my defense is probably pretty low as well, so I'm not only going to lose lots of key when I get hit, but I'm also going to take a lot of damage. But I've got high agility, so if I'm doing well with my dodges, I shouldn't get hit. And Spear has good range on it, so I should be able to keep my distance pretty well. 
So hopefully, it all works out. And I never saw the final stats of my weapon. I should probably, should probably use some whetstones on it. And divine weapons go up to a thousand. So I'm gonna need, what, seven, I think? I think seven. I think they're 150 each. Let's see. Yep, 150 each. So we'll use, well, we'll use six of them. That'll get me almost there. Ah, screw it, we got lots. We'll use seven. And there you go, 873 attack. Final blow damage is up 11.6%. Close combat attack goes up by 11.6% if I'm in a critical state. Strong attack break is 12.2%. Guard key reduction of 9.4%. And a plus 10 to parry. Although I don't have any parry skills. So that's not going to do me any good. So, looks pretty good to me. Alright, so... Spear build is all set up, ready to go, and we are going to throw it right into the fire because we're going to have one of these double boss fights, and I'm going to have to get accustomed to it real quick, or else it's going to be very painful, and I'm going to die a lot, but I think it'll work out just fine, but we'll find out. So anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.